Alright guys, so we are back today with a Samsung SyncMaster 23 inch monitor. Okay, so let's actually come close and have a look at the specs. Okay, so first thing we see on the front of the box, cutting edge energy saving technology. That's good. Okay, full HD 1080p, uh, mega dynamic contrast, eco saving, Samsung magic angle. So, one thing eco saving. Um, it's going to save you a lot of power rather than, you know, regular monitors would, things like that. Um, so that's actually a sort of a good thing. Uh, magic angle, I would say when we open it up we'll be able to swivel it nice along the screen and such. Okay, so over here, LED monitor, wide, Series 3, SA300, 23 inch. Um, let's actually look at the physical model number, just to get you a little look at it. Okay, so the model number. S23A300B okay and there's your model code and all that stuff it's um good for Windows 7 I, I really don't see how that would matter but still <laughs> so that pretty much covers what's on the box it's just the same stuff over and over again so let's actually see how we can get this box open First thing when we open the box, let's have a look. Lots of styrofoam packaging, everybody uses this stuff. Okay, so a little bit of protective stick, protective during the shipping pretty much. I wouldn't say heavy load because that will just, yeah, like that. So just light transportation between buildings and companies. Okay, well, I'll save the monitor for a minute. Put that to the side. Let's have a look what else we've got. More styrofoam packaging. That's good. Just protecting the monitor is the main thing. Protecting the physical screen. Okay, we've got a stand here. We'll come to that in a minute. Accessory kit. Okay, we got a VGA cable. Doesn't seem to be that much long, but still. It's even got a nice Samsung tie around it. That's good. Come to that. Okay, what else have we got here? This must be a power cable. Let's open it up and have a look. That's what I'm unboxing. Show the world what we have. Okay. Ah, okay, so that's a physical stand that you plug into the to the bottom and the rest goes into your monitor. Okay, we'll look at that when we actually open it up fully. What else do we have? Oh, we've actually got a hmm, little uh, Instead of plugging into the wall with just a single cable, we've actually got a little charge box. Hmm. AC DC adapter. Hmm. Okay. What else? A bag of nothing. Cool. <laughs> so hopefully this one will actually be pretty good. The fact that it's 1080p will make people want to buy it full HD. Um, the fact that it's eco saving doesn't really matter, but some people might like to save power. Okay, we've actually got a, a cleaning cloth. So you can clean your monitor nicely. That's great. Let's put that to the side. What else we got? Documentation of some sort. In another language, so I can't really understand it. Uh, it's just your input and outputs for your adapters there and all that good stuff. More people want to see the physical product, so we're just going to skimp over the documentation quickly. Unpacking your monitor, quick guides, got how to set it up, how to put it in the stand and all that stuff, what you shouldn't do with it. Okay, what's this warranty? Customer care center, little if you want to fill all that crap out. Okay, driver CD, you don't really need it, you can throw it away. It's just if you have an older PC you might need it. Ah, uh, what else we got here? And a physical power cable for your power brick. Okay, so that was down here. Okay, that's a skimp over that. So there's your box. Need that anymore unless you feel like returning it if it's busted or something. Let's have a look at the physical screen itself. Okay, it's all packed in nice packaging, nice and soft, and protective for the screen. Okay, let's get that out of here. Oh, 
all that good stuff. So this is again 23 inches, 23 inch monitor. So we can see there. It's all nice. Yeah, they make sure they don't mark anything when they peel all this stuff off because that would be bad. Be bad for cameraman's monitor. Okay, so we can see cameraman zooming up on the Samsung logo there. <laughs> okay, LED, energy efficient, all that good stuff. Nice and shiny front. I would say you would get a lot of fingerprints on the top, so I'm not going to touch it too much. But we can see the SyncMaster SA300. Okay, that's the model of it. To the back. Oh, I like this. We have the physical uh, DVI port, which is DVI-D, I believe, and VGA. So your regular DVI cable won't fit in that because it doesn't have the four pins around the little straight wire there, so we might actually need a different cable for that. Uh, we can see our power cable there that'll go into our power brick. And look at this nice finish on the back. We can get that all in picture. That is a nice tactile backing that looks very nice. Looks something like very modern, very top stuff. Okay, we can also see we have a little bit of information here, pretty much. Nothing you'd need to really look at. But for the stand wise, we can see our little stand before, which is just down beneath me. We'll plug into there. Let's see how it is, easy it is to physically put in its little stand while we're here. Okay, so we can see our stand there. This is what the monitor will sit in. It's got a little turnstile locking, so you can easily screw it in there nicely and you don't have to worry about all these other bits and pieces and clips and whatever. It actually tells you there to release and lock which way does what. Okay, we're protecting over this so we can take this off once again. Not trying to get too many fingerprints on it because it will get fingerprints on it, of course, because it's that kind of material. Okay, so let's have a look. Where's our little stand? Here's our little stand right here. Okay, let's see how easy it is to put it together. Okay, you can see the bottom will go, will clip into our monitor. Like so, not very hard at all. Okay, now to put it in. Okay, all nicely like that. I believe, yep, okay. So that's how it sits in your monitor. And then underneath, you'll just screw that little clip I showed you before until it's actually tight, so I might actually just turn it around just so you can get a look at what I'm doing. Okay, so we're just following the lock motion till it's tightly in there, like so. Pop that back down, and we are securely in the stand, so that is how easy it is to set it up. Okay, so for the multi-viewing angle, which we saw on the box, let's see how good the angle is. Okay, so can we tilt it back? Okay, we can tilt it back. So if you're sitting in like a barstool chair or something, you can actually see on the side there. We can see under here, this whole swivel, all under here is very nice, okay. So, we're gonna tilt it forward. If you're up close to it, you can have it right in front of your face so you can see it all very well. So, as in time for response, did it actually mention anything about response time? box. Hmm, I guess it doesn't. That's something we sort of need to know and doesn't mention it. 16 by 9. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you a response time. That's uh, not very good because that's what most people such as gamers would like to know. I'm sure it'd say somewhere in the manual because they couldn't, it's not something you could easily leave out. But Hmm. Anyway, that seems to be their fail. That's the only thing they didn't seem to mention was the response time of this monitor. Unless you know cameraman. 5? Five? 5ms, five okay. Apparently it's 5ms. <laughs> it's 5ms response time. Okay, uh, that seems to be pretty much it. I'm really liking this backing of it. Look at that. That looks nice. It's all bumpy and curvy and nice. Okay. So that's pretty much it for my uh, unboxing of the Samsung Sigmaster Monitor. 23 inches of goodness. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more unboxings.